Hey guys, I'm going to show you kind of a cool feature with these uh, HDS, Lorance HDS units. Uh, it's a custom contour shading feature that I found extremely helpful. Um, I'm going to show you how to how to make a, a, a zone where uh, you can, that's colored, a custom uh, shaded color that you could use to target, you know, whatever species you're fishing. So we're going to use an example of Mille Lacs Lake in Minnesota. And uh, I'll use a hypothetical scenario of, uh, let's just say that um, smallmouth bass, this lake's known for uh, its world-class smallmouth bass fishery. Let's say the smallmouth bass are, are hitting in, um, you know, 15 to 17 feet of water, and we want to kind of zone in on, on, on that depth range. So what we can do is um, I, I downloaded the CMAP Genesis um, social map. And I'm going to turn that on here. And here you can see the blue is where people have covered, uploaded their sonar logs. And then the rest is just um, gray um, background. And we're just going to zoom in to just get some detail in any area here. And uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to go back to our chart options here. Um, I think um, I get these always confused. Either view, yeah, here it is. Here's the normal, um, this is the normal traditional depth um, palette, but we want to create our own custom shading palette. So we're going to go, um, we're going to edit um, the one of these column, one of these depth um, categories. So we'll go to custom, here's just the default. And now what we, like I said, what we want to do is we want to target 15 to 17 feet. So how you do that here is you pick one of these palettes you want to you want to uh, use, and you enter the first category where you want to make that break. So what we're going to do here, like I said, 15 to 17 feet. So we go one five. We hit OK. So here is the the key the key detail. What the color or the color doesn't matter, but what we want to do is we want to basically say anything less than 15 feet we want to completely transparent, so no opacity. So we're going to hit zero, and then we're going to hit OK. So what that's going to do, you'll see that up there, it's, it, there's no color. So we're going to go again, we're going to go to 15 feet, hit OK. Now let's say we want to color this red. We want the zone colored red so it really stands out. So we're going to hit 15, and now with our opacity, we're going to leave that at 100%. So we hit OK. And now we hit our second zone, and we're going to hit, we're going to put in uh, 17 feet. Hit OK. Again, do the red. Whoops. And again, 100% opacity. Okay. Then finally, we're going to do this one more time. 1-7. Hit OK. Um, the color doesn't matter. We're going to now make this again 0% opacity. Uh, transparent, completely transparent. That's just going to then color everything else, you know, whatever default color. So we hit OK. So now that's depth one. So we can go now and then we can just basically turn on depth one. And now as we zoom out or zoom in, those colors from 15 to 17 feet should now be colored red. And there you go. That is how you can zone, kind of zone in on a specific zone that makes you um, that much more effective in those areas. Okay, obviously there's nothing there that that is 15. Let's find some other areas where there's 15 to 17. Let's see if we can. Okay, it's all that. It's all deep. Can we find some shallower areas? Let's see, there you go. There you go. And you can use your motor guide XI5 autopilot and go zooming around there. It's a it's an amazing feature. So, hope you find it useful.